This old picture here is of myself on the left and my son Simon. But the interesting thing about it is I'm showing him how to make the traditional milk cans. Um, this picture was taken in 1983. The Guernsey milk can is uh, it's quite an unusual design. It uses the minimum amount of metal to hold the maximum quantity of liquid. And they're all made in different panels. The larger milk can you make, the more panels you would use. What I'm going to do is start to show you how we would make this from the flat sheet of silver to the finished item. Right, now the first stage before blocking is to mark out on the, uh, the silver sheet the panels to make the milk can. Then I'll do the blocking, the blocking process where we actually hammer them, uh, hammer them up to get the shape. So we'll just scribe out like this. And then the next thing will be to cut these out. This will be done just with a pair of snips. Cut this out like here. Just for the lines around. Right, so that's one half of the uh, the milk can. Then I'll do exactly the same with the other, and then I'll take them over to the tree trunk and uh, start to block them up. If I just show you already how it's starting, the roundness is starting to come together. So I'll carry, carry on doing that all the way through until I get them up to the correct shape to form the top section of the, uh, the milk can. And now I've finished the blocking, you can see the, uh, the two halves of the milk can, the top section as they come together. They're lovely, uh, lovely and smooth now, it's just been done with the hammer. Right, this little tool here, this is called a swage. Basically, you work it with your hand, and it's got a little groove in it, and a pointy end here, and it'll push the silver down to form a little groove, forcing this end up here, and this will then make the little joint that we require. So you can see what's happened with this one side. You've got this beautiful area here. I'll do the same with the other side. And then this section here is going to be folded back and it'll fit in there tight. Now the joints are all made, I can slide these together. And then I'm going to put them through a tool like this here. Again, a piece of steel with a groove cut into it. And as the joint goes there, I'll use a hammer to squash the two sections together. Now we have the two halves of the milk can ready to trim up to get exactly level across the top. I'll put it on a stake and just get it completely round and then you can see the, the milk can now coming together. With the handwork that's been done there's just a tiny little bit of trimming just to the top to get the two 100% accurate. So just cut that off with a little pair of bench snips like this. As we come around again it's just all done by, uh, by eye. This tool here is uh, a jenny, uh, a very old tool as such like that, it's got two wheels and as you turn the handle around you can put a piece of metal, or in this case the silver, into the wheels here and you can throw out the edge so that it means that I'll do it on the top section here, I'll throw it out then pull it back in on itself and then I'll get a perfect fit of the two sections. So if you just watch this a little bit, adjust these for the thickness that I require. Pull that down so the metal is just biting. Turn this around to start with very slowly just to get it uh, so that it goes around accurately. If I open that up you can just see this now what we've done here. So I'll then put the jenny inside and the, me the metal will then come up and backwards like that. These tools these were used again by all my family, my uncle, my grandfather and my father and uh, you can't really buy these sort of tools now. I suppose really one would say that they're old tinsmithing tools. And uh, you can see now the two sections 
those will fit together absolutely perfect. I'll just use a bottom stake now, which is a little tool that will go inside and I can tap around to get this a real tight fit to fit the, the two sections together correctly. Right, now the two sections are put together. You can see the four panels here. I'm going to now make the little neck. That's the section that sticks out here. But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to make the handle to actually carry the milk can. And then there's also the lid, the little cover that goes on. So what I've done, I've pre-cut here some tapered silver and I'm going to run this down on the hatchet stake here, folding the edge right over like this and then run a wire through and then this will then give it the strength. Silver wire is just going to go through here like this and then that'll be tapped up right over. So now we've got the two silver wires put down the edge here, it's going to be put through the jenny again, adjusting the guides, and this will then raise the two edges up as I require them. That's one side there, and do the same with this one. That's the section down then that will match here, and then that will be bent around now to form the handle. steel stake that I'll bend it around. Here we are, you can see it coming on now. Well now we've got the handle uh, all turned around and fitted to the milk can. I need to just put it on here, mark around to make the bridge piece that's going to go across the middle. So uh, I'll just do this quickly now, just with a, a pen. Get that done. Now what we've got here, you can probably see, I'll fold this down here and that'll, that'll form that sort of what we call the boss that goes across the middle section in, uh, in the handle there. So I'll cut that out here now. Just cut this out with a pair of snips like this and then the final fitting will be done in a moment. Right now, bend this section down like this, just by pressing quite hard. It's very important to fold this completely even, so that I ended up with the two sides absolutely fitting perfect. So that's that done. Now you can see all I've got to do is fit that to drop in there, and then that will go onto the, uh, the can like this here. Now we've got the bridge piece fitted. I'm just going to silver solder it in and then that will be the side handle finished. Now the boss is soldered onto the can, that's this section here. Well, I'm going to make the neck. The neck is the little piece that stands about this high and that is then screwed into the can and then it's silver soldered all the way around so what i've done here is i've already um marked them out on the on the silver sheet here hopefully the camera will just pick it up this section here is the the silver neck and this section here is a tapered flue that's why it's cut on the angle the reason for the taper is very easy to locate the the um the cover of the milk can and then as you push it down it becomes progressively tighter so I'm going to cut that out now and then turn it round for the next stage. Right, those are ready. Cut those off. Now on the steel mandrel, just get the mallet. Take the two ends round. by hand turn this around there 
we are. That's it started now. See if it's coming together. So I'll now wire it and then I'll turn turn the rim around at the same time. This is the rim that'll take the cover. So that's done and you can probably see it's just on the taper the way I've cut it. It's very important to uh, get just the right amount of metal that comes over for when the silver wire goes in that you can actually cover it. We could use a little folder to do it but everything is done by hand the way that they've always been uh, traditionally made. Now I'm going to put the silver wire into the edge of the neck here for strength and for the pull ring. Right, that's that done. I'll just make that fairly tight by going on a stake like this and knocking, knocking that back and it closes it right up very, very tight. Then it'll be turned around and silver soldered together. Just let that bubble away for a minute and then have a nice white flux over it. I can then get the high temperature and silver solder straight down that middle joint. What I'm going to do now is take the milk can apart and then this neck here that you can see, I'm going to screw it in. You can probably just see as I work like this, as I turn it around, I can screw the, the neck right into the can. So here we are, like that. I'll tap that up to get a really snug fit. That will then be soldered in and I'll solder in the, the other half at the same time. I'm gonna now solder the whole of the can together. Just finished soldering all the sections of the milk can together. Uh, they've all been silver soldered around the joints. Uh, hence you still got the staining on them. The next thing I'm going to do is put the base on. That's that little piece here with the Guernsey hallmarks on. What we've done on the base of this can, we've just put that this Guernsey can is the one that's featured on YouTube. Now the can is all silver soldered together all down all the joints. Um, the side handle has been made, ready to be silver soldered on, but I've just been working on the little rim. This is the, the piece that'll take the cover. handle's been soldered on that's uh, that's already finished now so that'll go into the hot water and then I'll carry on on the on the little rim just marked out the uh, the circle here this is going to take the top cover so we'll cut that out and then that'll be ready to start to block to uh, to actually dome it to shape it before I spin it over on the Jenny and um, fit it then to this top cover. So let's just cut this out here. A lot of the time it's easier to cut it snips them with a piercing saw. There we are, so I'll then start to block that. Now I'll start to shape the disc just with these hammers here. already starting to come so I'll carry on doing a little bit more of that and then just smooth it out and then it's ready to put the little cover on incidentally this is this process is called blocking probably because it's done on an old tree trunk uh, this piece of wood here so I'll just keep doing this till the item is perfectly smooth and then I'll be able to then fit it to the uh, the rim 
that I've made to go into the top of the can. Now that seems about spot on. You can just see the little compass mark there from where I cut the circle out. That's going to be then fitted onto the rim like this here. I'll just throw that edge out on the jenny so that it'll go the same as that then the two sections are joined together and then the little handle that was made earlier on that will be then silver soldered onto the top once I've done the final fitting. Now, what I'm going to do now is just finish the, uh, the cover, the lid, by polishing it like we do the milk can on the high speed polishing motor. I'm going to go with a very fine rouge and all of these are, are just layers and layers of cloth that bind together very tightly. You can see it's so fine it doesn't scratch. Right, there we are. That's the cover now finished. I'll just do the same with the milk can and then the whole item is now complete. Here is the finished milk can. I hope you've all enjoyed watching me make it. Call back from time to time to see any new videos that we're producing. Bye-bye.